As General Akbar from Return of the Jedi once said, It's a trap! What's going down, everyone? Welcome back to another edition of John Amos Archives on YouTube. And for my YouTube subscribers who have been following me, uh, welcome also to our Facebook page, the Philadelphia Eagles, America's football team, uh, which is damn near a 1,000 subscribers, and we just started the page this week. So uh, for all you guys, click the link below and vice versa. Subscribe to me on YouTube so you can get these videos as well. Um, so yeah, we're, we're, we're coming off of our post-game wrap-up against the Minnesota Vikings in what can only be described as a super trap game. And this sort of thing happens to the Philadelphia Eagles all the time. We beat the teams that everybody thinks that we're going to lose to, like the Lions and like the Packers. And then right when you think you figured it out, and right when you think that we have a clear road to the NFC East title, bam, we hit a trap game against the Minnesota Vikings, minus... Uh, they're, they're number one and two running backs, and minus Adrian Peterson, and we still still can't pull out the victory. And this is just typical, typical Philadelphia Eagles fan, you know, what, 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 what we're used to. This is, this is so old school and so repetitive, and you think that we, you know, with a new coach and a new era, we would overcome this sort of thing, but I'll be goddamn, we fell right into the scarlet, scarlet pit, and we cannot get out. So... You know, I'm not going to sit here and cry over spilled milk. The Minnesota Vikings played phenomenal today. I don't know what kind of drugs Matt Castle took this weekend, but, you know, minus the game that, that uh, Tom Brady went down uh, when he took over his job a few years back, I've never seen uh, Matt Castle play quite like this before. Um, just a you know, great game on, on the Vikings' part. But, again, I'm not going to sit here and, and, and uh, you know, make excuses or anything. Again, the Vikings are the better team. But the, the, the referees in this game were absolutely atrocious. And this is why the referees constantly get, get harped on. They constantly, if you go to ESPN, nobody gives them a grade A or a B. They're constantly getting C's and D's from everybody. You know, it's like, they, they, it's, it's literally, you know, it, it's, we're down by 18 points. And when you have the referees making all kinds of phantom calls out there and taking away points on the board, it's hard to come back. And what I'm exactly what I'm referring to, if you guys recall, you know, Nick Foles made a, a chop block when the guy was already in the end zone and they took seven points off the board. Are you fucking kidding me? The play was over. I mean, like, seriously? The play was already over. The guy's already in the end zone and you're going to call a chop block and take a, a, a touchdown off the board. Had to settle for seven points. So that's a seven point swing. Then they call, they flag Kerry Williams for a pass interference play. The, first of all, the ball was uncatchable. And second of all, there was no pass interference on the play. And, you know, they go back and they instant replay these things. And it's like everybody in the general populace can see that that's not a pass interference call. But some, some jackass on the referees, and it wasn't even the guy in the immediate vicinity. He was the, the jackass all the way in the back, throws the flag. Uh, and then lastly, you know, that fourth and one call. Now... The fourth and one call is going to get a lot, a lot of questions. I like Chip Kelly. I like the Chip Kelly offense. I have no problems with going for it there on fourth and one. We're down by a couple of scores, I think, at the time, and it's like the end of the third quarter. So I have no problem with going for it for the uh, fourth there on, on fourth down. You know, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. But that being said, again, that was a horrible, horrible spot by the referees. I mean, if you're looking at the instant replay, you could see. They only needed two feet for that first down. Are you telling me that the running back didn't get two feet on that play? So, again, you know, I'm not going to sit here. I'm not going to sit here and blame it on the referees, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit here and I'm going to tell you that the referees just absolutely suck. You know, these guys are sitting here on $150,000, $250,000 yearly contracts. They work 16 weeks out of the year, and I would say 75% of these motherfuckers have to get their eyes straight up checked and they need some kind of uh you know uh uh eye examination or something because the the plays that they 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 screw up on a weekly basis and they just cost you know you would think with the regular referees coming back that they're you know the replacement referees that but they're not even that much better than the replacement referees they make the same exact mistakes so that's it ladies and gentlemen i'm extremely pissed off about this because you know, this was the game that we should have won. This should have been six in a row. 
We beat all the teams that we're not supposed to beat. We beat the, the, the Packers. We beat the, the Vikings. And then we can't beat the shittiest team in the division, the Minnesota Vikings. So, uh, Philadelphia Eagles are now 8-6. and six. We still c control our own uh, destiny. We got the uh, Chicago Bears at, uh, at home next week. And then Dallas at Dallas the week after. So, the Cowboys are playing uh, right now. Um... I forgot against who the Dallas Cowboys are playing against the Green Bay Packers right now. They're up three to nothing. Hopefully, you know they're at, they don't have Aaron Rodgers. Hopefully, the Cowboys will shoot themselves in the foot, and we won't have to worry about these last couple games. I have I have a feeling that that's going to happen because Dallas chokes down the stretch anyway. But that said, man, the Philadelphia Eagles really should have wrapped this game up today. Uh, and it's just same old same old story here in Philadelphia. So again, thanks for watching my video, everybody. This is John Ammo from the archives here on YouTube. For those of you on Facebook watching this video, like my YouTube page. For those on YouTube, please subscribe to this Facebook page below. Again, we're near 1,000 subscribers. We have four or five different ad administrators who know their shit. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Uh, go next week, Eagles. We'll be back midweek with another video.